Good morning and happy Sunday. It is officially day three of my Paris trip and we just finished having breakfast and then I just kind of touched up my hair again. I'm wearing one of my Jennifer Bear bows that I've never worn before and thought it was very festive and then I will show you the rest of my outfit. Don't mind the socks but just white tennis shoes again, another pair of jeans and then I'm just wearing one of my tops with the leather on top. For the rest of the day, it's more of a relaxed day. We're going to a couple of different shopping areas. We're doing a lot of different Christmas markets. And then we also have dinner reservations at again at a different place at 7. And tomorrow we have the Champagne Tour, which I'm super excited about, as well as the Eiffel Tower Tour. So lots of big things still ahead, but really excited for the day. And yeah, we're just about to head out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been enjoying these vlogs so far. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get the day started. And here's the final look. I just added my Burberry scarf back on with my wool jacket. I changed to my uh, Purple Louis today instead of my Dior and just grabbed my pair of sunglasses and I'm all ready. <laughs> just got back from doing a little shopping and I we all got a couple of different things from some cosmetic stuff I got some gifts for my friends uh, back home that are help watching my cats while I'm out and then I also picked out my Christmas gift I mentioned this probably about a month or two ago when I picked up my Dior bag that I really wanted a really nice classic timeless watch um, so that I could wear it kind of on an everyday basis for work so I ended up going back to the Cartier store here and and purchasing that, I think it's super beautiful, super timeless, and I can't wait to open that up on Christmas Day. To the hotel for a little bit to just get some tea and to warm up from shopping and the Christmas market that was really cool and now we're heading to dinner. guys it is about 9 p.m. we just got back from dinner and I just figured I'd chat with you guys for a bit just kind of catch you up on the day so we did a lot of shopping I think I told you in the clip earlier before dinner that yep I did buy a Cartier watch that will be my Christmas gift I'm obviously putting a large chunk of money towards it as well obviously my own and then again I've got some Christmas money going towards it which makes the blow a little bit softer then we went and we saw one of the really main I'll put the um I'll find the name of it and I will put it in the clips like when we're at the Christmas market so I'll name it but it's one of their really really famous ones it's pretty large it was like a good mix of like food and some of the trinkets I have to say 
it's always really fun to see the different Christmas markets in the different areas because obviously the food's different and catered towards the culture in the area and then also the trinkets are, are you know personalized and there's been some Christmas markets that I've been to in the past that are like strictly food some are really large some are really small they're organized differently so it's just a really nice uh, thing I really enjoy seeing like a mix of different things I have to say the best ones still by far are in Germany so if you ever are like itching to go to a Christmas market I'd still rank Germany by far at the top there's one that I have in my Instagram that's tagged I can put it below here that I think is is the tents and everything are just absolutely phenomenal and like to a D so I will keep that one there but as I've said again it's about 9 p.m. we're all starting to shower and kind of just unwind for the day we want to get to bed pretty early because we need to get breakfast by 7 to be down and at our meeting spot for our private tour guide to pick us up again um, and then we're starting the champagne tour so it should be a really fun day it should be really interesting to start the champagne tour at you know 8 in the morning and then it's an eight hour tour I'm not quite sure of how it's going to work uh, you know is it like a region is it different places um, what are the significance to you know each one I know that one and I don't know if we're still going to it because of the weather but we're gonna find out one of the places is supposed to be where like Dom Perrier hopefully I said that right but you know the champagne the Dom the really expensive one uh, where that kind of came from and where that originated from so I really hope fingers crossed we're still going to that one but either way I'm really excited to try different ones uh, maybe take a bottle or two home share with some of my friends and uh, no it should be good and then we've got dinner reservations again and then we're seeing the Eiffel Tower at 10 p.m. so with lots of champagne in the beginning and then having tours uh, or having you know going to see the Eiffel Tower late at night should be an interesting day we might have to take a little nap but either way it's gonna be really great and I'm really excited I am going to close the vlog out here since I've been trying to keep to a day schedule. I was up till about 12.30 last night editing and kind of putting up the last one. So tonight hopefully will be a much earlier night, but as always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys are enjoying these vlogs. These are probably my favorite type of vlogs to upload. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you guys have been liking these videos, and I'll see you tomorrow for the champagne tour.